Like what's up, family? So now that we know what adjustments we need to make, we need to accept the responsibilities in that change. Like we need to be an advocate of of whatever changes we need to make. Like if we know that okay, like I need I need to make these adjustments. I need to make these changes. Like we need to embody that. Like we need to look like that change. We need to walk in that change. We need to be the example of what that change look like to those who are around us. And it's not like, oh, like, look at me. I'm making some adjustments. I'm making some changes. Look, you ought to follow what I'm doing. You ought to, you ought to do what I'm doing. Like, no, it's just letting our actions speak louder. Let our actions be the voice of change. You know what I mean? Like, because oftentimes, we know what adjustments we need to make. <clears throat> Excuse me. We know what adjustments we need to make. But the thing is, we're not willing to stay in there long enough till we start to see a change within ourselves. And honestly, like with me, when it come down to certain areas in my life, when it like I know I need to make some changes and like, man, as long as I'm motivated, as long as I'm feeling that, like I'm on it. But then too, there is there comes a there comes a challenges that comes my way, and that challenge like is that really what you about? Is that really the change that you really want? Is that really like you are you willing to go through it to get on the other side of it? And sometimes like it be it be hard to fight through it. It's just what it is. Like it be hard to like like uphold that change that 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 I'm so seeking in my life to a point where I I. I kind I kind of slip and become inconsistent at it. Like I don't show up like every single day like I'm supposed to. You know what I mean? Like so then I have to then I have to start back over, so to speak, because I did not maintain that level of change that I was seeking. I wasn't I wasn't consistent in in embodying that even through the challenges. So I have to start back over. I'm never going to give up. But I have to start back over. The goal is to stay consistent to where that change becomes a transformation. You have to, we have to, workplace, personal life, whatever. Like, if we're seeking a change, like, we're expecting a change to come our way. We expect some some things to, to uh, get better coming our way. Well, we're going to have to, we're going to have to put that out ourselves and let the energy come back to us. And even though it's going to be a challenge and it, it's not going to happen overnight for us, like the change that we're working to become and also for that, for us to receive the change and a betterment that we are expecting, like it's not going to be overnight, but it's, it's how bad do we really want it? Like how much do we really want what's to come? Now, guess what? Our level of execution our level of change, our level of showing up every single day is going to have to outweigh what we expect to come. Period. Because we're 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 starting from scratch, it seems like. So in order to get to the top, the fight is harder. Like in order to achieve, like the grind is 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 more challenging than the fruits that we're like when you when you think of a farmer when he when he's trying to uh grow crop. Like my man put in work. He putting in work every day. You know what I mean? Like just to yield what he has been sowing. So whatever it is we're trying to reap, we're going to have to sow much harder. We're going to have to sow every day. And yeah, I said every day. We're going to have to sow every day. You know what I mean? Like we're going to have to put in that work on self every day. When that change become to transition into transformation, then I believe we'll start to see the fruits for it, but from it, but we're not doing it for the fruits. We're looking to self-improve. And then when God said, okay, now you're ready. Okay, now you can have it. Then that's when we'll begin to yield. But we can't expect him to, to make it rain when it's 100 plus uh, degrees outside when we're not doing what we're supposed to. Like, let's get it. Let's make some changes. Let's go.